For today's video, I want to go over why I chose to keep better fish in my fish room. So the first reason is the incredible range of colour varieties available in better fish today. It's easy to find one in your favourite colour or that'll complement the aquarium setup that you have planned for your new tank. Amongst other colours, betters are also available in a wide range of stunning shades of red, orange and yellow which contrast beautifully with the green of live plants making them stand out. There's also also a bunch of unique patterns especially with the koi better fish lines but there's so many of them out there now it's hard to keep track. Besides their colours, betters also come with different fin and tail shapes too. Personally I prefer short tail betters because long tails can sometimes have problems due to the size and weight of the tail. My point is that no matter what type of aquarium you're planning there's almost always going to be a better fish that will fit it perfectly. Next up I want to talk about the unique personalities of better fish. So far I've kept four betters and each one of them have had its own distinct character. First there was Skittles who tried to eat all of the shrimp in her tank but she was always curious and constantly exploring her surroundings. Then there's Cooley who liked to watch the shrimp in his tanks for long periods of time without ever trying to eat them. Stitch on the other hand would snack on baby shrimp but he'd leave the adults alone and he would glass surf a lot thinking that his reflection was a rival fish. And now there's Marmalade and she went from trying to eat the shrimp, nibbling on the substrate, battling her filter bubbles and fighting her reflection to being a sweet little better who just enjoys exploring her tank. In my experience, fish from the Anabantoid order like betters and Garami tend to be more curious about their environment and explore a lot more. For me, this makes them far more entertaining to watch than shoal and fish. Another reason I choose to keep betters in my fish room is their low space requirement. I know that tank size is a controversial topic for better fish but in my opinion they can thrive in tanks of 5 US gallons or 20 litres and more. Personally I keep my better fish in 8 US gallon or 30 litre portrait cube tanks and they always seem happy. These tanks do have a smaller footprint than other popular tanks making them easier to place in areas of your home where rectangle tanks aren't a realistic option. If you have more room then a 10 gallon or 40 litre tank will have plenty of space for your better fish to explore and in my experience better fish make full use of all of the space in their tanks. A lot of the other popular fish in the hobby require far larger tanks than betters which can take up significantly more room. Not only do smaller tanks save space but they're also cheaper up front as well as cheaper to heat making betters a great option for those with limited space who are on a budget. Another thing that I love about better fish is the interactive feeding experiences that you can have with them. I recently started to place small amounts of food amongst the floating plants in Marmalade's tank to add some enrichment. She has to search for the food which I think makes it more rewarding for her and gives her something to do rather than just exploring the tank without any real rewards. Back when I first got Cooley I'd often have to hand feed him because his larger tail made it difficult for him to swim quickly and as soon as his food sank the shrimp in that tank would snatch it up before I could get it. Out of all the different species of fish that I've kept, better fish have definitely been the most engaging with this kind of interactive feeding and behaviour. Other than the honey garami in my community tank, the other species of fish that I keep tend to just wait for food to sink in front of them then they'll eat it. Another reason that I chose to add better fish to my fish room is their suitability as a solitary fish in their tank due to their territorial nature. While some betters can be kept with other species of fish I usually like to keep mine with invertebrates such as shrimp and snails rather than other fish. It's actually surprisingly difficult to find fish that meet all of the criteria mentioned in this video while also thriving in their own unique tanks without any other fish. I used to think that my favourite fish the honey garami would be fine as a solo species but they are definitely more social and display different behaviours when kept with other honey garami in their tank. Fish like rasboras, tetras, Corydoras, minnows and danios all do better in groups while betters are perfectly content being alone. Now I did keep Cooley with my chili rasboras for a while but I'd had him long enough to know his personality and I was confident that he wouldn't harm them because I'd spent hours watching him in his tank just watch the shrimp without trying to eat them. However I wouldn't recommend putting a brand new better fish directly from the shop whose temperament you're not familiar with into a community tank with other species of fish because 
they may be aggressive. Another reason that I like better fish is their wide availability and low price tags, especially considering how colourful they are. My local pets at home chain store sell female betters starting at just £4 and males from £8, with the more colourful koi placats usually going from £18 and above. If you shop online or visit specialist stores, you can often find even better looking better fish at low prices, letting you get a great looking fish without spending too much money. Another reason that I enjoy keeping better fish is their versatility in a wide range of different aquarium setups. Unlike something like guppies, which need hard water to truly thrive, there's a better fish in the Splendent Complex for most types of water. If you have soft water, then you can try a Smaragdina wild type, but if you have hard water, then the Mahakiensis wild type is another great option, or regular better Splendents can do well in a range of conditions. I know that wild type betters are still a little difficult to find, but species like Smaragdina, Mahakiensis, and Imbellus are all grown in popularity, increasing their availability in stores. Just keep in mind that understanding the preferred water conditions of your specific type of better fish will help with tank planning and improve the overall experience of the fish. For example, you can use aqua soil if you need to soften your water, or rocks like Siriu stone if you need to harden it to meet the needs of your new better. Now this next point will depend on the specific better fish you get, but a lot of the better lines in the hobby are generally easy to care for. Unfortunately, this has become more challenging with certain breeding lines of better fish due to the inbreeding to promote certain colours or tail types, and some fish can have genetic problems. Still, compared to something like guppies or neon tetras, better fish still seem relatively healthy fish overall. If you do want the healthiest better fish possible, then you can consider going for a pure wild type better that sticks to the natural breeding lines without all of the inbreeding to promote specific colours. In my opinion, some Mahakiensis and Smaragdina betters are absolutely stunning, and I've been a fan of better and better since I first saw one down at Horizon Aquatics last year, so I am leaning more towards a wild type better for my next one. You can even try and source your better splendent from a more reputable breeder, often found online, who will take time to try and keep their genetic breeding lines as diverse as possible to give you a healthy fit. Now this last reason that I chose to keep betters in my fish room may just be for me, but personally I do feel like I form a stronger connection with my better fish compared to the other species I keep. I'm not sure if this is just because of the only fish in their tank so they get all of the attention, or it may just be their curious nature because when I sit in front of the tank they come straight up to the glass expecting food. I can watch my tetras, rasboras, minnows or danios for hours and hours and I doubt they even notice that I'm there, but my better fish will swim up to the glass and have a good look at me. It doesn't take long for the betters to realise it's not feeding time either, so they'll often swim off and then go about their normal business and display their natural behaviours in the tank so you get to see both sides of the betters behaviour. Even my honey garami are far more timid than their better fish cousins and they'll often hide amongst the plant cover in their tank for at least half of the day. So yeah I just think that better fish are a far more interesting and interactive fish than most of the other fish species I've kept. Anyway guys that brings the video to an end. Better fish really are a great species to keep for all levels of experience in the hobby and in my experience they're definitely worth considering for your next aquarium. Thanks for watching the video, hopefully it was helpful and have a good day.